Hello! In this short video, I'm going to take you through the few steps that you need to turn on the WordPress statistical package through Jetpack, and also um, where you can then find your site statistics and uh, what information you can gather from there. So I've logged into the Nebraska Libraries on the Web blog, the project blog website here, and I'm on the dashboard. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select Jetpack. And uh, in a previous video, you've already connected uh, to your WordPress.com account, so you have these uh, available to you. Um, the first, the one we're going to talk about in this video is the WordPress.com stats. If you have a blue activate button, you're going to need to uh, click on that first and go through the process of turning on the statistics. In this case, I have already done that, so I'm going to go ahead and click configure. Now, there are not a lot of options here, but I uh, just want to talk about uh, a few of them. Uh, this first one says admin bar and then says put a chart showing 48 hours of views in the admin bar and that actually would show up up here in the black admin bar across the top. However, with the recent upgrade to WordPress uh, 3.8, uh, that uh, seems to have been broken. So you can check this if you'd like, and then hopefully in a, in a newer version this will appear or this uh, um, option may disappear in the near future. Um, registered users, these are if your website was to make people uh, required to sign up and log in to view your site. None of us are doing that for our library, so you can completely ignore this section here. Um, smiley, there will be a little tiny smiley face kind of hiding in the bottom corner of your site uh, by uh, based on the fact that you're running WordPress.com statistics. Nobody will probably notice it. If you really need to, you can turn it off, um, but I almost defy you to find it, so I would just leave that one alone. And then report visibility is uh, which of your site uh, authors do you want to be able to see uh, the statistics on the dashboard. By default, the administrator gets to see them. Most of us, from my experience, have set all of our authors up as admins, but if, for example, you have set up some library staff to be editors or auditors, or excuse me, editors or authors, um, you might want to check these boxes to make sure that they can see the statistics if you want, or you can just leave it as administrator so that um, the person who is the full administrator can only see those statistics. So you set these options. Really, there's probably not a lot to do here, but you do have some, some uh, choices to make. Go ahead and then click Save Configuration. And at any point, you can come back here and change these options. Okay, so it says Module Settings were saved. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my dashboard, and then I'm just going to kind of scroll down to the bottom of the screen here. And as you can see, here is where these site stats are going to show up. Now, you can rearrange this screen if you want them more up to the top of the page, things like that. We'll just leave them here as is for now. <clears throat> what you're going to see here is the last about two weeks worth of content. And as you can see this, you can hover over each one of these to see how many views you've had, whether or not any uh, um, you've published any new content. Uh, chances are you will notice really quickly that on the days that where you have published new posts, such as this one, you will get more views. Um, then as your site gets more use and as you post more content, you'll get information here about the top posts that are getting hit on and the top searches that people are doing. Uh, since this particular site I'm using here pretty much has a small uh, readership of about 50, um, probably not much will ever show up here. The one other thing you can do is you can click on this View All button. This will take you to a slightly different page on your dashboard. Um, you can also get to it under Jetpack and then Site Stats, as you can see here. Uh, but what we can do then is we can still get that same sort of report. This one goes back a little further. Uh, we can get our views for today, uh, our most number of views, our all-time views. Uh, we can get information about what sites might be linking back to us, such which are called referrers, what search engine terms people are using to find us, what people are clicking on to get out from our site, and um, the top posts and pages by number of views. Now, as you can see here, there's not a lot of information here, uh, but this is a pretty simple site with not a lot of viewers. What I'm going to do here real quick is I'm going to go ahead and log into my personal website, which will has a, a bit more traffic and a bit more posts. And I'm going to scroll down here into site stats, and you can see in this case our num my numbers here are in the 200s uh, and uh, 100s. You can see that I have top posts by views, uh, what people have searched for to find things on my website. Uh, if I click on view all here, 
it will take a moment to load because there's more data. This uh, website has been running for uh, the better part of 10 years now. Uh, you will see here that I now have my view count, uh, my views today, my best ever day, my all time views, and you can see more kind of better examples of where people are coming from to get to my site, tops, posts, and pages, what terms people are using to find my website, and where people, what people are clicking on in my site to go out to other sites. So as you develop your website, you will see this information populate itself and uh, you will get more information the longer that it goes on. So that is site statistics using uh, WordPress.com and Jetpack. And as always, if you have any questions, just go ahead and leave a comment beneath this video. Thanks.